Hi, everybody. Claude Diamond here with another gut sales tip. I want to share with you something. I don't think I've ever shared this. Uh, this is one of my favorite closers. Okay. So you other people out there, you other gurus who love to copy my stuff, pay close attention to this because this is one I don't do very often. A lot of times when we are talking to a prospect and they'll say, I'll think about it. You know, I say you're not allowed to think about it. I don't, there's a follow up to that also. When people are wavering, you can't get a commitment, you've qualified them, you know they have a need. I'm a Claude Barometer, if you've listened to my videos, they're an 8, 9, or 10, but they're still not over the line. They're still indecisive. They're not ready yet. And you don't want to be too hard, too pushy. We're not in the bully business, okay? We don't want to intimidate people. But one of the best lines I ever said that's a great closer, because I like to close people in one phone call, sometimes two, never three. But one of my favorite closes is, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, it's okay to say no to me, but you know, when you, you know what's going to happen when you get off this phone? You're going to have regrets. And then take a dramatic pause, okay? Remember, we're part therapist, part thespian in a lot of this stuff. Inside, we're thinking of the psychology. Uh, what's the empathy? What are they thinking and feeling? On the outside, we're playing a role. We're trying to say the right words at the right time so they just sit, get emotional and they say, you know, you're right, Claude, what do I have to do? Where do I sign? How do I pay you? Where's the contract? You go to them and say, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, you're going to have regrets. You're going to get off this phone with me. We've had a great conversation. I so appreciate you calling me, contacting me. And you know what? You're, you're pro you came to me with a problem. I, I, do you believe I can solve that problem? Is it about the money or the price or whatever? And because well, I have a feeling that when you get off this phone, you're going to have regrets that you didn't take me up on my offer. I don't want you to have regrets. I want you to have resolution. I want you to have what you're looking for. I want you to get what, what the reason you called me. I don't want you to have regrets. How do we move forward? What is the real issue? Boom. And then you start all over again. So you do, you use, you're going to, you're not allowed to think about it. You wait for a pause. What do you mean I'm not allowed to think about it? I think you're more worried about my feelings than your own. You called me for a reason. It's okay to say no to me. I'm the only person in the world who tells the prospect to say, please fire me. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, can you, could you please fire me? But, and, and that's okay. And now that it's over, I think when you get off this phone, you're going to be thinking a lot about our conversation and you're going to have regrets. The regret is that you didn't take me up on the, on my, on the reason we're talking in the first place. I don't want you to have regrets. I want you to have resolution. I want you to solve your problem. I want you to feel great about it. whatever you're talking about. Use that regrets line. It's very powerful. And a lot of times, even if you still don't make the sale, it's in their subconscious. They'll be thinking about you and what you said. Why? Because you're a gut salesperson. You sound different. You sound enthusiastic. You're an authority figure. You're a leader. You're having fun on the phone. When you say things to the people, you're not allowed to think about it. Uh, it's okay to fire me, and you're going to have regrets. They're going to remember you. They may not always like you, but they're sure going to remember you. And when they remember you, and it goes over and over in their mind, like a bad song you heard, you know, that's a small world, Disneyland, that, that song that stays with you for days after you took the kids to Disneyland or whatever, they're going to have regrets. So use that line and watch some magic happen. This is Claude Diamond. I do answer my own phone, 970 281-5151. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my silly little Uncle Claude videos. Go to my webpage. I always have free stuff there, ClaudeDiamond.com. And um, nobody deserves success more than you. Have a good day. Thanks for joining me.